Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Clockify with Slack. First thing we need to do, we have to create ourselves an account at clockify.me uh, and uh, we can uh, proceed to this integration. As you can see, uh, there's uh, on the left corner of your screen there's a couple of options to pick from but we want to go to the last one uh, as you can see it's settings so we click on settings and in this uh, top bar or upper bar we want to go to integrations as you can see um, the only free integration that Clockify provides for us is with Jira if you want to go and try other integrations you have to upgrade your account to at least a standard version not basic but standard uh, but there's other way around how we can manage to create an integration between two of those apps. Let's go to zapier.com. Uh, we have to also create an account here. And uh, once we are successful, we want to go to the top left corner of Zapier and click on make a Zap. We can name our Zap like... Uh, Clockify to Slack like this or like if you want to come back to this integration later it will be way easier so let's back to the integration itself uh, we have to start with trigger event the trigger event will start with Clockify trigger event itself we have to pick so let's go with the first one there's a couple of options for you to pick from so i believe you will find what you're looking for so let's go with a new project now we have to log in to the account that we created at uh at clockify once you want to create uh, once you want to log in to this account you will get asked for api key and the api key verification you will find at Clockify, uh, top right corner, you go to profile settings and scroll all the way down and you just have to copy paste uh, numbers and letters into the column and you will just verify your account. So once you do that, we hit continue. We have to pick uh, the workspace. Let's go with the only one that I have on my free account, continue. And now uh, we can test the trigger. Let's jump to the second action. The second action, as you probably guessed, will be Slack. We also have to pick the second event. So if a new project in Clockify appears, it will, for example, add a reminder at Slack. Continue. And now we just log into the Slack account and you are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.